Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to show you a few ways that you can use your slinger bag if you are new to tennis and you're a beginner, or if you're a more advanced player and you just want some simple drills to groove your strokes. Welcome back. My name is Ashley Neves and I run the Tennis Mentor YouTube and Instagram accounts, giving tennis players, tennis parents and tennis coaches tips and advice to help you to get the most out of the sport. I also make lots of videos using my slinger bag, so if you've got a slinger bag or are thinking of getting one, consider subscribing to the channel to see some of my other videos of me using the slinger bag. Now the first thing to consider if you're new to tennis or you're a beginner is the type of settings that you want to be using on the slinger bag. Ideally you want as much time on the ball in between each stroke and you don't want the ball to be coming in too fast to you. So you'll notice here the settings that I'm using I've got the speed all the way down to the slowest and the feed setting is somewhere around the middle giving you time to hit each stroke. For the first couple of exercises I'm going to have the slinger bag positioned right up close to the net and I'm going to be stood just behind the service line. This gives me a chance to hit my shots nice and slowly to gain control and once I gain confidence and consistency from the service line, we can then progress back towards the baseline. So let's take a look at me hitting forehands and backhands from the service line. So first of all, as you can see, I've got the machine in the center of the court at the net. And I've just shifted my body to the side so that the ball's coming into my forehand. And my main focus when getting into it is to make sure that as soon as the ball leaves the machine, my racket goes back. So we're focusing on a nice early preparation so that I've got lots of time on the ball. As I said before, we've got the feed on the slowest setting and we've got the feed at a medium interval, giving me enough time in between each shot, but not so that I'm standing around waiting for the ball to come out. I've got the angle of the machine at about 20 degrees, which gives me nice height and a bit of time to hit the ball after the bounce. So really focus on getting that racket back nice and early so that when the ball bounces, your racket's already prepared. You'll see here that all I'm doing is just gently controlling the ball over the net and my target is just to get all of my shots into the court. So that's me doing this drill with the forehand. For backhands, I'm just gonna shift my body over to the other side and practice the same thing. So racket back early. As soon as the ball leaves the machine, straight away so you've got time to hit the shot. You can do this whether you've got a two-handed backhand or a single-handed backhand, but both of them just focus on that early preparation so you've got time on the ball. Once you feel confident and you're able to prepare your racket nice and early and you're getting your shots over the net and in the court consistently, then you can move back to the baseline. So all I've done here is I've set up the machine with exactly the same settings but the machine is now just inside the service box and I'm stood just behind the baseline. And we're gonna have the same focus of getting your racket back as soon as the ball leaves the machine so that you've got time to hit the shot. Make sure, just like me, you're trying to be on your toes in between each hit. We don't want to be too static. That will allow you to get into a good position to hit each shot. Now that we are from the baseline, we're gonna to have to hit the ball a little bit further. So if you can, start to slowly increase the speed of your swing and the length of your swing. Having a longer swing will allow you to get that ball to travel a bit deeper to the back of the court. Again, this drill can be done on the backhand side. You just need to shift your body over. Again, focusing on that early take back as soon as the ball leaves the slinger. It'd be a good idea to spend a good five to 10 minutes doing these basic swings to get into a nice groove. And once you're happy with this, you can start to experiment with a bit of movement as well. So I like to alternate between forehand, across to the other side, prepare early, backhand, same thing. And this is just a good way to help you to get to grips with your positioning and your spacing. You don't want to be too close to the ball when you hit it. So try to make sure that you're moving your feet in between every shot. The next progression is to put the machine at a slight angle so that you can practice your shot with a recovery back to the middle of the court. So I haven't changed the settings at all. All I've done is I've turned the machine 
to point to my forehand side and I'm making an effort to get back to the middle after every shot. We can still have the same focus of preparing the racket as soon as the ball leaves the machine, but you'll also be able to see that I've put some targets at the other end so that I've got something to aim for with my shots. <laughs> and maybe set yourself a target of hitting 10 shots. There we go, just hit the cone down, that was a beauty. 10 shots in a row. Let's pretend that's number nine, number 10, and then I might choose to go down the line. So still with the same footwork, but trying to hit my shot to the other set of targets. Oh, there we go. Again, you can do this for as many shots as you like. It could be 10, it could be less. You can probably hear I'm getting out of breath here. So it's a really good workout, especially if you introduce the movement. Perfect. And then we'll have a breather. Whew. Good. So you can do exactly the same exercise on the backhand side. Again, I've just changed the angle of the ball machine so that it feeds the ball out to my backhand side, forcing me to move to the shot and recover to the middle. You'll notice my focus is still on an early preparation so that my racket's back before the ball bounces, giving me lots of time to execute the shot. Again, you can aim towards the targets. I'm going cross court on these ones. The targets can go anywhere on the court. I like to put them about three quarters of the way back so that I can practice hitting to a good length. After you've done your set cross court, you can change to go down the line with the same focus of getting that racket back early. Doesn't need to be powerful, just controlling that ball over and in. So there you go, they were just a few simple drills that you can use whether you're a beginner or an advanced player that just wants to groove your strokes. It's very simple exercises, all of the settings are set the same. When you're thinking about the settings, cater them to your needs. If you feel like you're rushed on your shots, all you need to do is either slow the speed of the shot down or change the feed setting. The settings that I used with the slowest speed and the medium feed setting are a great place to start. If you want a bit more of a workout, all you need to do is turn your machine slightly more to the side so that you have to move to your shot and recover back to the middle. However, to groove your strokes and to focus on something technical in your game, just focus on getting that racket back early so you have lots of time to practice your swing. You'll notice I wasn't hitting the ball very hard at all, and that was because I was focusing on my early preparation and getting a good clean contact on the middle of the strings. So if you've recently got a slinger bag, these drills are a perfect place to start. But if you'd like to see more advanced drills, I'm gonna be making a version of this video for intermediates and advanced players, but also I've got a library of videos on my YouTube channel that you can head over to see right away. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. If you have a slinger bag, let me know how you're getting on with it. And I hope to see you next time. Take care.